Good morning, everyone. Long time no see. I haven't vlogged in like a week ever since I got my results that I have a liver tumor. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I found out I had a liver tumor and I haven't been vlogging since. Um, also, I got lip injections yesterday, so if my lips look humongous, it's because I just got them done yesterday and they're really swollen and they're hurting, so I'm kind of talking stupid, but it will go down. Um, I also got Botox yesterday and yeah. My cats are annoying. I sneezed probably 15 times this morning. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, anyways, I'm going to make my coffee. I'm gonna make an iced coffee with oat milk. I've been like obsessed with oat milk recently. I'll show you guys the one I use. So I saw this one at the dollar store. And that's what made me originally get it. So I've been hearing a lot about oat milk. They're like, hey, if you don't really like like almond milk or whatever, if you want something thicker um, and really that just tastes really good, try oat milk. And I was like, oh, interesting. So I saw this at Dollar Store. And um, I mean, it was $4, so it really wasn't like a dollar. I was like, this is perfect for me to try. I read the ingredients and the ingredients were perfectly fine for... Um, I was nervous with the, with the dollar store. So I tried this in some cereal and I was like, oh my God, this is like so creamy, it's so good. It tastes like so good. And now ever since then, I've been like obsessed with it and I haven't had regular creamer or milk since. I mean, I still have dairy, like I still have cheese. Um, but as far as my coffee goes, I have not had any creamer since. So then I saw this at my store, which is, uh, Oh yeah, <laughs> for coffee, ready to froth. This is vanilla flavored and it's literally oat milk creamer. So they just basically make it thicker. So this one does have a little bit more chemicals in it, I'm pretty sure. It has a little bit more chemicals. I can read all of them on here. Oat base, sunflower oil, pea protein, cane sugar. So I could still read everything on the back, which is pretty good. I don't really like the whole gum thing, but I mean, it's kind of... <laughs> You kind of need that because the whole point is like for it to be thicker than the actual oat milk so it makes sense um but i've been using this and i even put it in josh's coffee one morning and i didn't tell him and then when he finished i was like did you like it he's like yeah like what was wrong with my coffee and i was like i used oat milk and he was like oh wow so josh even likes oat milk which is a thumbs up i like almond milk and i i don't really love soy milk but i'll drink it and i love coconut milk so i i wasn't really that scared to try this because I like milk alternatives anyways, but when I tell you my favorite one so far and the closest thing to milk and the best tasting one is definitely oat milk. Um, I couldn't really get on board with like the almond milk in my coffee that much. I did it just because I knew it was healthier, but it definitely didn't taste good. This you could actually put in someone's coffee and they would not even know the difference. So that's what I'm going to do today. I just wanted to do that little rant. I'm like an oat milk sp spokesperson now. Have you ever like really enjoyed something and then you want everyone to do it so then you just keep talking about it? me I'm not gonna lie i haven't been super into like iced coffee recently i've been into hot coffee because it's winter um but i do have a bunch of iced coffee left <laughs> so i'm just gonna use my iced coffee up because i have so much of it left i'm not gonna put ice in it today because it's out of the fridge and it's gonna be cold try oat milk try oat milk creamer in your coffee and it might open you up to a whole new thing sis seriously i'm not that hungry right now so i don't know if i'm gonna eat or not my straw so good i love oat milk oat milk and cereal too is really good i also put oat milk in my uh tea yesterday i'm just like obsessed with oat milk like and i feel better knowing that i'm not drinking cow's milk you know like it's just i feel like i'm doing my body a favor by being like hey let's stop drinking another animal's titty milk that would be smart you know youtube Meet Patreon. Patreon meet YouTube. <laughs> As if they don't. Carly's making. You have to explain it because. It's like a vegetable hat. I don't know. It's just. I don't know. It's like potatoes with peppers, garlic, mushrooms. It's like a hash brown casserole for breakfast. I don't know. I just want vegetables and potatoes. She, she, we, she, I got her this breakfast yesterday at this one place. And so she's trying to recreate it. But she's always trying to recreate stuff that we eat. <laughs> I usually do a good job. No, you do. Like, so like, like the Taco Bell thing, that was pretty, yeah. that was pretty like spot on. I know. The breakfast burritos from McDonald's, spot on. Nah, she's actually a good cook, I'm not gonna lie. So, we're going to the pet store to get a 
um, to get some fish from my tank. I'll show you guys my tank later. I was going to show you this morning, but Josh was sleeping in the bedroom, so I didn't. The tank actually looks sick, I'm not going to lie. It does. It's really cool. It's going to be cool just to like lay there and watch them at nighttime. I feel like it's going to help me fall asleep. Okay, we were going to go like an hour, no, like 30 minutes ago, but on the way there, I got really bad stomach pain, so I went back home and I like cried it out. And we called a bunch of MRI places and we were basically screwed. Yeah, it's like in the states they can't do it for us even if we pay unless we get like a doctor's note from a doctor in the states which means we'd have to go there go to an appointment get him to refer me come back to windsor then go get then go back for the mri so that's like a whole month of quarantining at that point mm -hmm. so and then by that time i'll probably get in here anyways hey everyone i'm going to get fit we're going to get fit all right hold on so we pull up to this pet smart here um, usually like never buy animals from here, but fish, it's all right because they're just fish, you know? So we're going to go in here and we're going to find our new- Caitlin's already here, which she's, she's going to take all the good fish. She's got all the good ones probably, so we're going to come in here. And now we got a snake and we're going to have fish and we got three cats, man. We're kind of crazy. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yes. Oh, okay. Let's Guys, look how tiny those things are. You can't even see them. They look like- Look how small with the little shell. Oh my gosh, we got a snail. So we got the fish. Don't worry, we didn't just throw them in there. We did the whole thing where you let them sit in the water. And I made sure the water was, had no ammonia. And we slowly added a cup into their bag. We let them sit. They look really, really cool in person. Like even cooler than like on camera. Like on camera, like it doesn't even do justice. Like this, the light that's that's above them makes the, like we can't have it on all the time, but it makes them like really pop. Like the pink one's crazy. Oh, wait, this setting's a little bit better. Ooh, okay, this setting is getting a little bit better. So we have two pink, two orange, one green slash yellow. I don't know what color that is. And then the three little guys. And then we have a snail to clean the tank. I really like the small little blue ones. They're so cute. Mm. Adorable. You happy? I'm so happy. They're I so know. cute. She, when she put it in, she was just watching them for like 10 minutes. They make me like... I don't know. I feel like it'd help me go to calm. sleep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel when the snake's coming on me. And you, no, you don't don't, don't bring up the snake. That's gross. No, but it's just different. No. Guys, we're feeding the snake. I'm scared. So there's a mouse in there. Skip this if you're a vegan or something. I don't know. Actually, just skip it if you have morals. Because <laughs> this is really terrifying. Oh my god. I thought you were just supposed to like put it on the ground. I can't believe he can eat that big of a thing. Cause she's eating it for the first time. Hold on, let it focus real quick. Here we go. She's got it in her mouth. Oh, she dropped it in the water. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of just enjoy watching this because I've never really seen a, a snake go crazy. I wish she like grabbed it out my hand. Look at how watermelon is going. That's crazy. This is a cool angle too. Guys, what? That is insane. You just hit that whole thing in there. You probably could have ate a bigger one too, to be honest. It's this far. Oh it's like it just disappears. It's this far. That's for water farm. Why am yeah, it's just a bigger one. He's trying sparkling water. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not for me. Because <laughs> your taste buds automatically expect a sweet drink, but the moment that you like get used to it, you'll be like, oh, it's good. But your body's just like, oh, that doesn't taste right because it's fizzy and not sweet. <gasps> peach juice, I want peach juice. Why did I put that in there? So, fun fact guys, I was on Facebook Marketplace and, <laughs> hi. I was on Facebook Marketplace and this girl was like selling these chairs. And I was like, oh my gosh, she was selling two of them for $50. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good deal, right? Everyone has these, like they're kind of like common, but they're super cute. She's like, yeah, I have two of them and they're $50 for both of them. And I was like, that's perfect because I've been looking for two chairs. I've been looking for one for my desk in Ella's room and then I was looking for one for my vanity because my vanity one broke during the move. So I've been sitting on literally a broken chair and like I'll be doing my makeup and then I'll just fall. So. I almost bought a brand new one, which was gonna be like 150 each, but I ended up getting these ones for $25 each. And when I messaged her, I was like, hey, like, 
when can I come pick it up? And she was like, uh, I'm actually your neighbor, so you, I could just leave him on your porch. I was like, what? So she ended up being my neighbor and she ended up just walking it over here. And yeah, so she lived on my street and I got two chairs for $25 and she delivered them. Like what a queen. So yeah, they're just basic. I feel like everyone knows about these chairs. Like they're very, very common. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy and excited about it. And like, what's the odds she was my neighbor? Guys, I got this vacuum. I got this vacuum at Goodwill for $12 because our vacuum is like really bad. And I saw it and I tried it and it worked. And Josh is saying it's like the best vacuum I've ever got. Yeah, it is. Oh my, what? Our uh, other vacuum would not. Other, I was trying to vacuum this stuff up yesterday and it just wouldn't pick it up at all. You can feel the pressure when you like when you pull it forward. You can feel the pressure on the ground. What? What? Our other vacuum could never. Yeah, it wouldn't have. Twelve dollars at Goodwill. Look at me. I'm the Goodwill queen. So I haven't seen y'all in a little bit. We just put Ella to bed right now. I'm gonna work on. Probably a little bit of music. I got some beats in my email yesterday. I haven't talked to y'all in a bit, so if y'all didn't know, on the 29th of this month, November 29th, I'm dropping an album. I got uh, 10 songs on there. Oh, it's cold in here. I got 10 songs on the album. So it's actually, it's, it's my best work by far. Y'all are going to be hyped on it. So I'm going to give y'all another update about it but it's already set to drop so november 29th all platforms get ready it's gonna go crazy i'm gonna drop a few music videos for it i've been in the works you know what i'm saying so i haven't slowed down on it y'all are gonna get all this content all of it right now you know what i'm saying on the 29th and then after that it's go mode you know what i'm saying so i appreciate everyone i appreciate everyone who like actually listens to my music and i see i see all the people who are like consistently on, on my instagram and all that stuff and I, i'll follow y'all back if i see y'all are consistent and y'all are like actually commenting and like fucking with me y'all get a follow back 100 percent, 100 percent. i fuck with all y'all and i appreciate y'all for like tuning in and listening so i think carly's gonna go to bed soon she's just like editing some videos so we're gonna end the vlog right now i'll have her come say goodbye too but this is my outro we did we did a lot today. We didn't film. Actually, to be honest, we didn't do too much. I had, uh, I said earlier, I had an interview with my dog Rush, and then my sister was watching Ella while that was happening. Carly slept for like three, three hours. Woo! I'm gonna go find her. I just did an outro, so do you wanna say goodbye? Okay, everyone, I found her. She's hiding in her cave, in her cave here. I love you guys. Sorry, I'm uploading a YouTube video. She's super tuned in right now. I was trying to talk to her earlier, and she's all on. She's on upload and YouTube mode. Anyways, tomorrow, we were going to do it today, but tomorrow, we're going to get the ornaments and stuff and decorate the tree tomorrow. So y'all still see that. But yeah, because yeah. I was sleeping, and we can't go to Walmart now. Yeah, so we put it on, and then we're like, oh, we never got ornaments. So tomorrow, that's the thing. I right, love y'all. Bye. Don't take no time off. Bad bitch tripping. She throwing my vibe off. Flooding in time. When you turn the light off Know she gon' ride, yeah Yeah, she be screaming when I'm up inside, yeah She don't get tired She come to the crib, I don't gotta invite, yeah Don't take no time off Bad bitch trippin', she throwin' my vibe off Flooding in diamonds, diamonds still shine When you turn the light off Know she gon' ride, yeah